We know that Gregory Green is responsible for some heinous crimes and he will likely die in prison. You are a con artist, you are a monster, you are a devil in disguise. You are now forever exposed. Faith Green facing the man she married, the father for two little girls, and the monster who would murder all four of her children, Chadney, Kara, Coy, and Kaylee. There's no punishment that fits the crime. Not even torture and death would be justice. Your justice will come when you burn in hell for all eternity for murdering four innocent children. Green fatally shot his two teenage stepchildren in front of their mother, and prosecutors say he planned the killings for at least a week, going to Home Depot to buy piping to alter the exhaust on his car so he could murder his two little girls. And at his sentencing today, Faith Green said he carried out the killings and tortured her because he was insecure as a man. Dearborn Heights police say Gregory Green thought his wife was cheating on him. I can still feel the zip ties around my wrist, and it triggers horrible memories of that night. Okay, well, first of all, it's in God's hands. You know, he can judge. In 1991, Gregory Green stabbed his first wife to death. She was pregnant. He served 16 years in prison. Faith's family apparently thought he was a changed man. Two weeks ago, Green pleaded guilty to four counts of second degree murder for killing the children and guilty to torturing Faith. I will be forever in pain and heartbreak. This wound will never heal. This wound will never heal. All I've ever wanted was a um, God-fearing help, you know, help me that would support me and be faithful no matter what. I look at you when you appear utterly unmoved. Following the plea agreement, the judge sentenced Gregory Green to 47 to 100 years in prison. I'm convinced that you will be incarcerated for the remainder of your life. Thank you! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And Carol and Gregory Green will be eligible for parole when he's 97 years old. Back to you. Just, just hard to imagine listening to her today. Kim, no doubt Faith Green has filed or is going to file for divorce from this man. So what do we know about that? And more importantly, how's she doing? Could you get a sense in court? She, uh, she's, she's a broken woman, I'm not going to lie. She's clearly a broken woman. She did not want to talk after the sentencing, understandably. She has a lot of family support around her. Her family is a very faith-based family, I can tell you that. Court records do show that she filed for divorce from Gregory Green in August, and in December, just weeks before Christmas, she was granted a default judgment. Back to you. So that's a little bit of good news uh, for her, and boy, we our thoughts and prayers are with her because she's got a long road to hoe. Thank you so much, Kim. Glenda. Carolyn, right